classification based on the type of the information signal. Now, what are the types of information signals? What are the different types? Now, generally categorized as there are two types of information signals. One is the analog signal and second one is the digital signal. Now, what is the analog signal and what is a digital signal? There is a clear cut discrimination. There is a clear cut boundary between analog and digital signals. Now, analog signals varies continuously with time. The amplitude of the analog signal varies continuously with time. This is a sinusoidal signal. For example, you see here, the amplitude of this signal varies continuously with time. Complete cycle, then we have a cycle. So the, the amplitude of the information signal varies continuously with time. Such a signal is called as an analog signal. Very simple to keep in mind. That the signal whose amplitude varies continuously with time, that is called as an analog signal. Whereas the signal, which, the, the signal for which the amplitude varies in a discrete manner. Signal for which the amplitude varies in discrete manner. For example, we have a high amplitude here, then we have a low amplitude, then we have a low amplitude, and then we have a high amplitude. Means, in the, during this digital signal, we have a amplitude which becomes high, low. Means of the information, I, I am the amplitude becomes high, then it becomes low, it remains for low certain time, then it becomes high. Means the amplitude becomes high and low. When this happens, means the amplitude, it is in the form of high and low, that, that signal is called as a digital signal. And in the digital signal, we, we normally have the data or sequence of pulses in the form of ones and zeros. Now here, if you observe carefully in the digital signal, we have a pulse consisting of one zero zero, one zero one. This is a digital signal simply. And this is analog signal wherein the amplitude varies continuously with time. The amplitude of analog signal varies continuously with time. Whereas the amplitude of the digital signal, initially it remains high or it, it remains low, it becomes high. Means that, that varies in a discrete manner. That is called as a digital signal. The example is the uh, voice signal, what I am speaking. The example is the picture signal. The example is music. These are the some examples of analog signals. Whereas digital data is always generated from some computer. It is a binary sequence. You have studied the binary numbers. So it is a binary sequence, one, zero, one, zero, one, like that. So based on whether your information signal is an analog signal or a digital signal, the electronic communication system can be categorized into two types. First is the analog communication system. And second one is the digital communication system. See once again. The analog signal is the signal whose amplitude varies continuously over the time. Whereas for the digital signal, the amplitude varies in a discrete manner, like this, 1010 binary sequence of the uh, pulses. Whereas in analog, we have a continuous, continuous sinus network. The examples of analog signal are voice signals, picture signals, and music. Whereas the example of a digital signal is the digital data binary sequence, which is generated out of the computer. Now, if your information signal is an analog signal, we can say that we have an analog communication system. If your information signal is a digital signal, you can say that the communication system is the digital communication system. Now, analog, as it varies continuously with the time, digital, it varies in a discrete manner, we have, again, analog communication system categorized into two waves. When we consider an analog wave continuously varying, it can be either sinusoidal or it can have a pulses. Break, pulse, one pulse, then we have a break, then other pulse, then we have a break, like that. You can have pulses also. Now, when we have a continuous sinusoidal wave, the analog communication system can be categorized into three parts. First is the amplitude modulated wave, frequency modulated wave, phase modulated wave. See, when we have a analog communication system and we have a sinusoidal wave, continuous wave systems, then we have three types of systems. One is the amplitude modulated wave, second is the frequency modulated wave, the third one is the phase modulated wave. Whereas, when we have a pulse of a wave, we call it as a pulse modulation, you can have a pulse amplitude modulation, PAM. 
fam fam is nothing but pulse amplitude modulation then we have pulse width modulation pwm pwm is pulse width modulation the third one is the pulse position modulation ppm so when we have a continuous analog wave analog information signal and depending upon the nature of wave if we have a continuous sinusoidal wave then the electronic communication can be classified as amplitude modulated frequency modulated phase modulated whereas if you have a pulses of a wave and if the pulses undergoes the change which we are going to discuss in detail in next subsequent lecture if the amplitude of a pulse wave varies then it's called as a pulse amplitude modulation see very simple fam pulse amplitude modulation if the amplitude of a wave varies fam pulse amplitude modulation if the width of the wave varies amplitude means this this is the amplitude so here this is the, if you observe carefully this is the amplitude of the wave now when the amplitude varies we have a pulse amplitude modulation now when we have a width of a wave varies width means this distance the width if suppose this much is the wave then if it is becomes this much small then that is a change in the wave so if the width of a wave varies width of a pulse varies then that is called as a pulse width modulation then the third category is pulse position if the position of a, a pulse changes if the position of the pulse or information signal changes then that is called as a pulse position modulation so very simple analog signal is the signal which varies continuously with time the examples of analog signal are voice signal picture signal music these are the examples of analog signals whereas the digital signal is the signal which varies discreetly over the time you can have a sequence of high and lows one and zeros that can be generated out of computer that is a digital signal then based on this information signal whether it is the signal is analog or whether the signal is a digital you have a analog communication system and if the signal is a digital you have a digital communication system now again analog communication system can be categorized into two types if the information signal is a continuous sinusoidal wave we have a change in the amplitude amplitude modulation change in frequency frequency modulation change in phase phase modulation and if there is a, there are pulses if there are pulses then if the amplitude of pulse varies pulse amplitude modulation fam if the width of the pulse varies we call it as a pulse width modulation pwm and if the position of a pulse varies we call it as a pulse position modulation that is very important now the, we are going to discuss in detail later on but these are the categories this is a classification of the communication system based on the nature of information signal so when we have a analog signal we have a analog communication system in the analog when we have a continuous sinusoidal wave we have a the uh, amplitude modulation frequency modulation and phase modulation and whereas when we have a uh, the pulses of a wave pulses of a sinusoidal wave and if it's a, uh, the, we have a pulse amplitude modulation we have pulse width modulation and then we have pulse position modulation now this is when we have a analog signal what if we have a digital signal now when we have a digital signal the communication system is called as a digital communication system and the digital communication system based on its properties can be categorized in three parts we have a pcm pcm is a, a very famous communication that is pulse code modulation then we have a dm dm is nothing but delta modulation then we have a adm adaptive delta modulation so when we have a digital communication system we have a pulse code modulation we have a delta modulation and then we have a adaptive delta modulation so based on the nature of information signal based on the type of the information signal the we have a two types analog signal and digital signal analog signal is the signal which varies continuously with time that we are going to discuss how, how what is the difference between analog and digital now analog signal is the signal which varies continuously with time the examples of analog signal are voice music sound these are the some examples of analog signal whereas for a digital modulation the wave varies in a discrete manner there is a binary sequence of one and two binary numbers one and zeros the binary or digital signals are generated out of the computer 
And based on this whether signal is analog or digital, we have analog communication system or digital communication system. Analog communication system can be again categorized whether you have a continuous wave system or you can have a pulse of a wave. When we have a continuous wave, we have a amplitude modulation, we have a phase modulation, we have a frequency modulation, and when we have a pulse of a wave, we have a pulse amplitude modulation, we have pulse width modulation, we have a pulse position modulation. And even when we have a digital communication system, we have a pulse code modulation, we have a delta modulation, and we have a adaptive delta modulation. Now, there is a difference between analog signal and digital signal. We'll compare what is the basic things which are very important for the analog signal and digital signals. Now, this, this, this screen shows you the comparison between the analog data and digital data, or analog signal and digital signal. Now, already I told you, the major difference, major comparison between analog signal and digital signal. Analog signal varies continuously with time, or it changes continuously with time. Whereas, the amplitude of a digital signal changes suddenly or discreetly with time. Analog signal varies continuously over the time, varies or uh, changes continuously over the time. When a digital signal suddenly it becomes one, then it becomes zero, then it becomes zero. There is no stay between zero and one. So there is a discrete or sudden changes in the amplitude. That signal is called as a digital data. Basically, that is a binary sequence of a, a low and a high, that is zero and one numbers. Now, the examples of analog signal. What are the examples? Voice signal. I'm speaking. My, my audio is the voice. My voice is the example of analog signal. Then we have a picture. You observe my picture on your mobile screen. That is also example of analog signal. And then we have a music. We, we listen music. We love to listen music. So music is also the example of analog signal. So voice signal, picture signal, and music, these are the examples of analog signals. Whereas the data generated out of computer, which is a binary sequence of ones and zeros, that is called as a digital data. Now, when we have an analog signal, the analog signal is the exact reproduction of original information signal or physical quantity. They see the difference. Analog signal is the exact reproduction of when, when we have a communication, analog communication. It's the exact reproduction of the original information signal. See, if suppose we, have, we are at the face-to-face -face mode, now you listen my voice. Or you can imagine at your family, somebody at your family, for example, your brother or for example, your mother, you daily listen to you. Or for example, your father, you daily listen to your father, mother, brother at your home. Now what we do, we listen, we recognize that voice. Now when we have an analog signal, means when we have a face-to-face -face mode, we listen that voice. And suppose you speak to them on phone with your mother, father or brother, you listen once. Now, when you listen over a mobile, that is not the exact reproduction of the... When you listen, that is not the exact reproduction of the information signal. But that is the approximate, because digital data is used. Now, when somebody speaks at your home, they are at home, you are at home, that is a face-to-face -face mode, that is through the analog signals, and that is the exact reproduction of the information signal. Whereas, when you listen to on mobile phone, that is a transmission over the digital data, that is not the exact reproduction. It is a approximate reproduction. So that's why we, we feel some change in the sound. We feel minor changes in the sound when you listen to a home, uh, when you listen over the mobile, voice over the mobile. So that is the third difference. Now, when the analog communication happens, error introduced is a very small. When analog communication happens, the error introduced is a very small. And when the digital communication happens, as there is approximation, the error introduced is a very large. Error introduced in the data is a very large. Now, this is the fourth difference. Now, when we have analog information to be exchanged, we require small bandwidth, less bandwidth. And when the digital data is transmitted, you require less, more bandwidth. When analog is there, I am talking with you. Now, 
my screen, this is a shared as a, a screen is a shared and you receive it through analog signal. My voice is sent through analog signal, but my video is not sent to, when I talk through Zoom, my video is sent over digital media. Now, if I, if I switch off my video at your screen, you will require less internet bandwidth. Means you require less data. Whereas if you uh, keep only this uh, uh, screen and my voice only, you require less data. So, because when we have analog communication, the data requirement is low, the bandwidth requirement is low. Whereas for a digital communication, we require more bandwidth. So, these are the five main differences between or comparison between the analog and digital data. First thing is that analog signal varies continuously with time. Digital data varies in a discrete manner in the form of ones and zeros, binary ones and zeros. The examples of what is it, analog signal are voice signal, picture, music. These are the examples of uh, uh, analog signals. Whereas digital data, that is the sequence of binary ones and zeros, which is generated out of the computer data. Whatever the data generated out of the computer, that is if it is in the form of a binary ones and zeros, that is a digital data. That varies always in the form of ones and zeros. Now, analog communication is exactly reproduction of an original information signal. It exactly reproduces the original physical quantity. Whereas digital communication, digital data is approximate reproduction. It is not the exact reproduction, but it is, it is a reproduction close to an original and it's called as approximate. Now, as the analog signal is the original reproduction, the error introduced is a minimum. In analog communication, the error introduced is a minimum, but in digital communication, as it is approximate, the error introduced is very large. Uh, then uh, the bandwidth requirement is the one parameter. When we have a analog communication, we require large, uh, sorry, small bandwidth, less bandwidth. Whereas when we have a digital communication, we require more bandwidth. So this is regarding the comparison between analog and digital communication system.